Evening all and welcome back to Factory Town. So we've got this coming here and uh, it's not ideal but it is kind of working. Uh, so let's carry on and let's get some iron metal, sorry, conveyor belts. That's what we was kind of doing, wasn't it? That was where we were. So we're going to need to have a bit of a crossover thing going on here because we have cloth pin produced here. Um, and we need it to be produced to come over to here as well because we require things over here now this we stopped we brought this all to an end and uh, I want to turn off that grabber so that this uh, is purely just going to be making um, paper I think that's, that should be the idea. Um, in fact, do you know what? Let's put that grabber back in there so I don't mess that up. And we'll just let him run out of planks and uh, we'll be good. Yeah. Uh, you're just making wooden wheels and you are... You're making wooden wheels but you're not outputting the wooden wheels anywhere? Why is that? You're not putting output the wooden wheels because... You have nowhere to put them. Okay, okay. Well, do you know what? We do kind of need wooden wheels somewhere, but not here. Not here. This this is going to purely become a um, research place. Um, we're just going to have beacon of research. What else can we do? We've got mana purification. I don't really well we've got plenty of let's let's do that. I don't we've got plenty of blue coins, let's just do that and get that going and we'll take it from there, I suppose. So, uh your wheels, your wheel your doing bits and pieces, your loads of stuff there. Let's leave that for the minute and just move things up here. So, um we don't need this stone mace anymore. You can go. What we need is we need a plate up here to be dedicated to making belts and I'm thinking doing it this way down here this will become our belt production area because it's not really something that needs to be sold anywhere although you can sell um, the belts for a lot of money actually we might do that we might but then this road can have to come down and uh, go somewhere uh, yeah, I can't really have it go straight on now. I've messed this up. Might move this bomb. We'll see. We will see. So, um, uh, if we want to do that, we don't really worry about these pear trees here, I suppose. Uh, let's remove all these trees. Um, I will leave the pear trees. I'll leave one set of trees next to there and um, I should really remove them trees underneath there shouldn't I? Mm, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's remove that and let's remove that tree there. There we go. Okay. So if I were then to move this barn to here and have it come this way to make cloth we would then also need the cloth to be transported all the way up to here. Which I suppose we could just do with wagons. It is kind of working as it is. I did say this was temporary. Um, uh, simply because I want to redesign it. Um, to make things a bit smoother. With it particularly when we run out of coal I think. But right now it's fine. We're making sandwiches. It's fine. So um, yeah. We do have other things we can do for happiness as well. Which we need to get up. So sandwiches... Um, I think sandwiches also helps the meat. Veggie stew is something I want to look into. And cheese as well. But cheese is struggling. And it's struggling because of milk. And milk is struggling because of animal feed. And animal feed is struggling because... Well, it's not like this is actually... It's just one grain mill is not enough for this. 
no, one grain mill is not enough. So maybe we'll put in more, but we'll we'll see. Let's let's do our our bits first. So I'm gonna move this. Let's move this barn to be here. Oh. Um we'll put it over here, actually. I think that seems like a good idea. Yeah, there we go. And uh we will obviously move the Fences. Where is this going? This is just going to one place, is it? Yep, for the minute. Okay. You go there, you go there, and you go there. Okay, so the inventory sensor does keep its things, um, but this doesn't. That was a hundred, wasn't it? There we go. Less than a hundred. And that should go to there. Then we can remove these. Like so. Awesome. Right. The bomb. Okay, and uh, we're going to have a workshop making cloth, which we're going to bring down here. And uh, I think we will run this path. We'll run this path all the way down again. Um, probably flatten this grain out, this terrain out. Um, help with it, because obviously this is going to be down here somewhere. Move this down to here then. Now I have just realised that obviously I've got our, our metal production up here, so this might not work because I've got metal going up here and I will need it to come down here to do iron and stuff, won't it? So So yeah, that that's not going to work, is it? That's not going to... Not going to do what we want it to do, because it's not going to... Be in the right sort of place. Um, okay. Okay, so if that's the case, we need to look at taking trees from somewhere else, so I can remove this forester here. Um, and maybe put trees onto this line here. Uh, we can't really do it up here in the mountains anyway because there's no real place there's a lovely place there but do i want to have another cart go off that way is that really going to be the smart thing to do to a logging camp um i mean it could work we could have plenty of trees go up here and just transport them down as and when required um, I think I think we we'll have to do that. So okay, so let's let's bring the what I was originally going to do to a bit of a pause, and let's say we're going to bring a train from there all the way down here. Right, what I'm going to do is remove the track there, and that will send all our trains. No, that's wrong. Why is that doing that? Uh, okay, stop. You're going to go down and grab metal for some reason? Okay, not sure why. Uh, oh dear, now everything's going terribly, terribly wrong. Everything's being pushed down the wrong way. Right, cut the track off there. Okay, mistakes were made there. That's gonna walk up this whole thing, isn't it? Yep, thought it would. Uh, you turn around. There we go. So we're gonna get some nails come back. That's okay, our system should be able to deal with that. Okay, right. And what I wanted to do was remove this track here. And uh, put it level with the top of the mountain because I don't think we need to go any higher than this point here. So, if I was going to run a train 
down to say here somewhere we're going to put in a couple of different foresters in here and have it come to a barn out here so let's put the barn in let's say we put the barn there we want the center track off that to be clear so we want that row there which cuts right through the middle of our manor but that is fine And then we want to clear off the area on top here. Do that. That. Okay, removing that tree, that tree, that tree. There we go. Okay. We want a track and come off that way and a track that way. Right. And then this track comes all the way along here. Here somewhere. And then we'll do loop like that. Okay. Right. So then we just need to copy the uh, logic over, remembering how it all goes. Uh, let's have a look, see here. Oh, and a push up. Boom. So, um, the inventory sensor is set to sense the pusher and is set to set is equal to zero. So we know if the cart is empty, then that is a true. You should go to the ball. Ball function should be an and function and should link to the pusher. Uh, you just go to the toggle and the toggle goes to the and function, like so. And it should currently be a tick because it's good. And that should be on as well, like so. There we go. Okay, so we're all good. Right. Um, and then we want to go down here to where we have our wood. And uh, let's stop this. We're still using wood somewhere. Not oh, yeah, we're using rail tracks. That's why. That's why. Okay. Boom. Boom. And boom. Like so. And great. And you want to be detecting that, and you want to be set to wooden logs. Because it will be logs that come down. Or do we want planks? Do we want to process? I think we'll process the planks up the top. Yeah, I think, I think that's what we'll do. We'll process the planks at the top. Um, so uh, you link to that, you link to that, and you will link to that. So yeah, we'll process the planks up here somewhere. We'll have a system to process them and then... Uh... We'll... Uh... Yeah, that needs to come down, doesn't it? It can't go that way, so it's got to come down to here at the bare minimum. Okay, so that's the furthest out that can go. Right, so... Um, yeah, we'll have all the, the things grab planks and go into a barn and then that go into a um, planks or something. Right, let's just grab that forester and let's put him over there because why not? So where's the best place to put a forester here? Let's see. That's, that's probably the most optimal place for him to go. Right smack bang there. And there could be another one that goes here somewhere. So yeah. So if I put this one there, doesn't matter where I put him, I put him there so he's level with the other one. 
Um, so we want to remove resources, go up one, click, there we go. Then we want to grab our forester. Can I grab him from here? There he is. Move, grab. Ah, uh, infinite range is a fantastic thing. Can I build an uneven terrain? Ooh. Okay, that's a little awkward because we don't have any... Um, money to level the terrain up. So let's have a look see here. Can we level it up just using these? Well, we don't need those three. I think that looks good enough. Occupied. Why is it occupied now? Oh! Oh, that's because I've just used the wrong thing. Hold on. We want to use actual... Well, wooden arches will work. There we go. Only be placed on terrain. Okay, so we need to level that terrain up before we can do anything there, which is awkward. Um, which mine is using? Stop. I think you're the only one using red coins. Memory serves. Yep. Yep, you are right. So if I, I don't want flattened terrain down here, I want flattened terrain up, because um, I want to bring it up a level, and that's going to cost 35 to do. We currently have 8, but flattening it down is going to cost nothing, apparently. Okay. So flat and terrain down doesn't give me a price, but flat and terrain up does. That's odd. Hmm. Oh well, um, we'll wait for a moment to do that and then build that there. Uh, and then we can build a bit coming off. Uh, so that's going to go to there. Which means we want our next one to be there. And you can even grab apples as well. You won't get any apples. But you would get apples if we put it there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with doing that because we can get some apples as well. Maybe cut them up. I'm not sure how. But we could. You'll go in there. Uh, you're currently on back. Okay, so auto manage recipes. Click that. There we go. Um, yeah, it's a bit weird some of the systems here because um, if you want multiple recipes, you can either shift click um, or tick the boxes as and when you want to do so you can turn on and off things that you want. Or we can even turn on pear trees when we've got them there. But the auto manage recipes, if you tick the box, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do everything. You have to actually click the button itself for it to work, which is a little odd. I'm not sure why it's that way, but. It seems like that tick box should not be there for the auto manage recipes, but, but yeah, but you can just use the ticks there, or as I said, hold the shift button to turn things on and off as you want them. So, yeah. Okay. So we'll also manage that. We'll let him pick some apples to start with. And uh, that'll be fine. We need to get them out of here, though. So we have to build... the way up and over. Let's level that terrain up that I wanted to do here. Up one click, and there we go. If I move you to there, yes, you'll happily sit there now and you get all the trees. It's awesome. And the auto manage recipe is just changing it to woods, so we'll leave you just on wood for the minute. We do need to get the trees out of there, and to do that, we need to build a chute up in the air. But only so many. But if you go too high, it will obviously stop working because it's. I mean, that looks like it'll work, but that looks horrible. Can we go any higher? Mm. 
unfortunately there's no real way to do it so that we can just ignore the trees that are inside it because yeah now will that work let's see oh yes it will awesome right okay so that's there and we'll put a I don't think we need the arch there but just in case uh, and I'm going to move this back around to this side because I think we'll put our two buildings here which we have, we have two of them already let's grab that lumber mill zoom zoom you can go we'll say there and I think that's going to be too low that work let's see let's turn you back on again no it's too high I thought it might be okay there we go that'll work that'll work awesome right you can go into there and then when we get the other one we can have it go into another lumber mill over here and then they can go into the barn now i do think one forester can run more than one lumber mill quite easily in fact i believe so we may do a different sort of system here but for now we're just gonna leave it as it is so we'll do that then we'll do I build an uneven terrain. Something like that. Yeah, I think that that should work. Right, yes, so that will work and that will go if it was facing the correct direction. There we go. And uh, we can turn up the forester here. And uh, he will be able to output onto that line into here, get things going. Everything will be awesome. And, uh, yeah, we will then get our planks of wood, which is exactly what we want. Uh, let's put in a rail stop here because that would also be useful. Um, you're filling up. Let's speed you up. There we go. Running just under the speed of single Forester. Which is great, that's kind of what we want. Because then if I had any steam power into things, I'll be doing it here. Okay. So now let's reconnect our train system. Um, which seems to be doing okay. Nothing like it went terribly, terribly wrong. Okay. And... We're not going to get anyone go down for wood yet because you're well over 100. Okay. Right, so we'll move this other lumber mill over here as well just so it's sort of in position. That means we can remove this forest here. Because it's going to be kind of in the way from what we're doing. But it's going to be completely in the way for what we're doing but yeah so let's go full-on deforestation deforestation mode i was going to say there well that's not even a word um and potato we'll remove potatoes as well no potatoes goodbye potatoes there we go okie dokie right there we go okay so now we're going to move this again, the other side. Luckily, however, all we have to do is repoint that and repoint in a uh, rail stop, and we're done. Okay, you can go. Yeah, I'm going to let you pick up first. There we go. 
then that should empty the conveyor belt. Awesome. Then we can put the conveyor belt back in. Da -da. And there we go. Right. You're now producing cloth over here, which is awesome. Uh, you are producing bandages. Do they, they sell for blue coins? We're okay for blue coins, I think, for a minute. Yeah. Um, right. So, what else do we need? What else do we need to produce the conveyor belt? We need stone, we need wooden wheels, and we need cloth. Okay. You you still have loads of storage in you. You are running out of things. Which makes absolute sense because you're not actually outputting anything anywhere, are you? Let's very quickly build a wagon here. And go... Hey, take the wheels and put them in there. Just to empty this thing out of. There you go. Completely out of. Um, wood metal. So it's only producing paper, which is awesome. Okay. And you're going to run out of wood very soon. Which is also awesome. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, you got cloth in you? Yeah, not without fuss about it. Right, let's yoink this and uh, put it over here somewhere. And then tell that cart to stop working because he's going to be way off. We want to move that one. And we want to move this one. And uh, then I also think we probably want to remove this road. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm also really tempted to change this up to, to actually move this over here somewhere. Because I think it would make more sense to do that. Um, like so. Move that to there. Go you, you, and you. Then we should do a grabber. Like so. Okay. There we are. And that just that, that he just gets more trees then. That's that was all it was. We just make sure he gets more trees. Uh, you've got maximum workers. You're okay. I'll turn you down a little bit actually. Not that it matters, but yeah. So there we go, okay. That's all good, that's all good, so we're all good, we're all good. Okie dokie, right, so um, let's stop faffing about and let's actually get going here. So, uh, you, Mr. Caravan, can stop now. Um, Mr. Silo, you can stop, you can go away. Cargo boat is going to go and just deliver the goods now and hopefully that'll be fine, okay. I really need to level this terrain down some more. But it's really expensive to do. <laughs> That's the problem. Off that there we go. And we broke it. Okay. But if we can get ourselves some metal conveyor belts, we can start selling them and everything is awesome. Right. So you're producing cloth. Cloth, I feel, should go into a dedicated barn. Maybe not a dedicated barn that is massive. I mean, you're capped out. Uh, you're capped out, you're 150, I don't really feel like I need that much cloth being stored, so maybe we'll just grab a normal barn and uh, put that in there. Uh, planks are capped out, that's full, that's full, that's full, okay, so they're all good, all right. Okay, and uh, you can output to there. Again, I'm doing things on the floor here, and I really shouldn't be, and I know it, but well, for now, that's just how it's going to be. So.
how... What am I doing? To produce cloth conveyor belts. We need cloth, wooden wheels, and stone brick. Now we have stone brick on here. We don't have any wooden wheels on this at the moment. We can't really make that any higher. Four is the maximum it can be, so you can only have four layers on any one thing. Um, and you can't really put them side by side and have things go interchangeable. Uh, once you've got a wall of things, that's kind of it. I can't get anything else through this wall. I'd have to go up or around or something like that. So, if I want to... Um, You should be taking from that one to there. There we go. Uh, if I want to say have well, I've got one workshop here which does the wooden wheels and the cloth. That's no longer required. Okay. Boom. Uh, you can take cloth out of there. Okay. So we just need wooden wheels. Maybe I could just have this do both. Um, I could have it do wooden wheels and cloth conveyor belts. Okay. And then all it needs is access to wood, cloth, and stone, which is all on this belt here, with the exception of this one there. But the question is, if I carry on running this all the way along, I am going to end up blocking myself off completely from resources the other side. I need to find a way to get through... Well, I don't think there is a way to do that. I really don't think there is a way... ...to, uh... do that unless you come from here somewhere we'll figure that out we'll figure that out later. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself so let's put this on this side over here somewhere oh, like so in fact it could do with being one further but we can't do that because we need to flatten the terrain down so again let's see how far we can go before we run out of money uh, not far enough that it needs to be uh, there. Yeah. And it needs cloth to come from here as well as stone and wood from this one here. Doesn't need access to nails. In fact, I don't know if anything else does require access to nails. I think this might be the only that might be the only workshop that does need access to nails. Don't know what else nails is used in. Let's have a quick look see here. Um, oh, we're using shoes. So they're using two recipes. So in fact, we don't need that top nail belt at all. So that's good. And I could make it a cloth belt because I feel cloth is used in more recipes than. I don't know, cloth is used in three, oh, four, five. Yeah, I think cloth is more important. So I made that top one a cloth conveyor belt which would mean changing this up a little bit here. But that's doable. And then nails, we could just have come down and... maybe even go directly into the, uh, the workshop here. Just have the nails come across and go straight into the workshop and then move this over here. I think that's going to be a good idea. I know I do want um, yeah, yeah, I think we do want it. Okay, so let's uh, stop with the nails. Not that they're being used for anything at the moment, but yeah. And uh, move this around a bit. So if we clear off that top line, using the move tool to clear all the resources off the line, like so. And then we pause time because I need to reconfigure things here. So... Oh. Oh. 
Okay. You are going to become rails. And... Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no you're not. No, you're not. No. You're not. No. Okay. So I'm going to swap these over completely. So you're going to go there. Okay. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. You go there and you go there for the minute. Okay. In fact, I can move them back one because I do want to save a bit of space here. Um, and we want to have two going up there with two grabbers on there. Oh. Yep. Right. Two grabbers on there, which means I need to go through that one. Dum and dum. You want to be iron wheels, and you want to be iron gears, and I really kind of also want to put wooden wheels in that one as well. Now I think about it. Having a barn dedicated to wheels, does that make sense? I think it does. The wooden wheels I think are used elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, wooden wheels are used elsewhere as well. Okay. Let's say goodbye to this coal. I might regret doing that. I really might regret doing that. Move you over there. Move you over there. Um, we're going to... What are you doing? You're doing wooden wheels. Now you're doing wooden wheels and cloth. Okay, so move you to there. Um... that there we go so that's going to work fine there and then you're going to do that and you're just going to be set to wooden wheels so you need access to the bottom tray which should already have a splitter on it anyway right now you need access to just iron so you don't need we have got to remove all of them as we go you only need access to that one there remove all these all the way down so I know what I'm doing. Boink, boink, there we go, right. Okay, you need access to nails and iron and wooden planks. Okay, I'm going to remove that top belt. Very, very gently that I don't remove the wrong thing. As well as the splitters at the top. Okay. You need access to wood, to iron, and to nails. Nails are there. Now the thing is, I don't need access to stone down here, but I don't know if I ever will do in the future. I think leaving that's gonna be the better idea. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, well, I'm just going to run this belt along here, down there, and into there. And that is a bit of a wacker way of doing it. But I think it's the best way I can think of. Um, I mean, I could technically come through the centre because we don't need the wood here. I kind of think I prefer that idea. It's nowhere near as pretty as what I'm doing. Uh, sorry, the stone. We don't need the stone here. So. Okay. 
So if we did this instead, we went up one there, down one there, and then we just run that through there, like so. And I'm going to have to remove that block there. In fact, I can remove it all the way back to here somewhere because we don't need access to stone there. We, we do need access to stone here. This is the furthest that we need stone. So, yeah, I feel as if cutting it off there would make more sense. It's a little awkward with this system because you need to remove everything to rebuild it because you can't access their things underneath. But um, yeah, so that's stone, that's iron. So we want to go onto the iron trail and run that out to at least there. Okay. And that's not going to work because iron's coming up to here. Which means I actually need to run that that way with a splitter but there there we go okay now things are making a little bit more sense in my head um, we're now going to get the awkward you can't do um, that there so we're gonna have to change that up a little bit we put in a thing there and a thing there with a spitter on top or uh, one down there okay okay right and then we also need one at the bottom anyway because I forgot about that there the wood so you should all be working now okay you should still be getting your resources in I believe you're getting nails you're getting iron this is all working this is awesome for that right and uh, seeing as I just want to make sure I know what I'm doing here if I run a belt out to there um, I run a belt out to there I run that one to there and I put right there we go that should work there we go and that tells me there's nothing on that centre belt just so we like this end I know I've got what I've got there okie dokie Right. I never thought I'd be reconfiguring this as early as this. Let's put it that way. Uh, you need stone, wooden, iron. So you need all three. Boom, boom, and boom. There you go. And that should just work straight off the bat. There we go. There we go. Right. So going up. Awesome. That's going up. That's going up. You're stopping because you have no wooden wheels because you can't store them. That's fine. I'd really like to put them at the top, but meh. Okay, so there we go. So there's wooden wheels. Awesome. Right. Um, Okie dokie. So your wooden wheels, you're there. You now just want to make cloth conveyor belts. That's all you want to do. You need access to cloth. You need access to stone. You need access to wooden wheels. Well, wooden wheels we can get from here or from this barn here. Um... And in fact, this workshop can be moved over there, so it's in line with the rest. And it will then have access to this whole system here. And uh, I'm going to make it tall enough because we are going to add cloth to it. Okay. We can't do that because we need to level this terrain down here, like so. And, and, there we go. Okay, right. So 
So, what are we getting from there? So you need access to stone, which is second there. No, that's third. That's incorrect. Second there. And we'll put a splitter in from this side there. And that gives you access to stone again. Yay, we're getting somewhere. Right. Um... This barn I actually want to move up. Let's see. Damn it, can't do as much as I want to do there. I want to flatter down before I move the barn. Before it um, changes over. Oh, excuse me. Ah, oh, the, the wonders of hay fever. Uh, right, okay, sorry. So, yeah, we want to move this barn. Uh, close to that, but I don't want to do that till I level the train down because otherwise it will stop me doing that. And then I'm going to have this barn output onto the top rank, and it can go this way, and it can go this way a bit. So if we need any cloth over here, because it's used for multiple recipes, this is going to pretty much run all the way along here, with the exception of being here for this. I don't know what I'm going to do for this. I might bridge it over the top of it. Quite tall. I could also dig a trench and have my carts go underneath it. I kind of like that idea. Um, but I do intend to run this foreground thing along quite a way because I think iron is using a lot of things. And we'll also have to offshoot the iron somewhere else as well at some point because we're going to have um, magic that requires it in other bits and pieces. But yeah. So um, I think I'm going to bring this episode to a close. Not a great deal has actually happened this one. I'm sorry about that. I've just... Uh, Added a few bits on here and uh, got going. And do you actually? I oh, know you're good. So that actually wants to be 500, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. Right. So 500, and you're just set to 50 because we don't want that many nails down here. Because only one place uses it. But yeah. Right. Yes, yeah, so I'll bring this one to a close here. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed one. I hope to see you again in the next one, and uh, until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>